route. Back to you. Okay, uh, thanks a lot, Rahishta, for that. Uh, the other stock on our radar, losing among all the others uh, which are uh, declining, is Kodrej Properties. The company will develop a premium residential housing project in Gurugram. Sonal, tell us more about it. Well, yes, the stock is declining, but the news is positive. So, uh, as you said, the company has uh, entered uh, into a new residential group housing project in Gurugram. They'll be developing it, and it will comprise pre predominantly of premium apartments is what the company says. It will be developed on a land uh, measuring 14.27 acres. We still don't know the developed million square feet or the uh, exposure there. The estimated revenue potential here will be around 3,000 crore rupees. And company says it will be one of the largest residential developments in Gurugram for them. And uh, the CEO designate that is Mr. Gaurav Pandey, he says that this will enable the company to increase their market share rise in Gurugram. Now remember, he will be taking over the company from 1st of January after Mohit Mahalotra resigns. And uh, this is something that we knew for quite some time now. And his strategy going forward is something we'll be watching out for. The stock is lower. Of course, the market uh, move is like that. But this is a positive news for the company. This is positive news, Sonal. Thanks a lot for that. But meanwhile, uh, you know, uh, the decline continues to extend on the front line indices as well as the broader markets. Delta Corp is down 6.5%. Usually, December time, you would see the stock move higher because people believe that maybe, you know, the last hour, uh, the last week of the year, there would be a lot more business out there. That stock uh, currently at the low point of trade. We're seeing big declines in a lot of these fertilizer stocks as well, which have seen big moves in just the last week itself. So, Chambal Fertilizer, for instance, is at the low point. But uh, the frontline index has been weighed lower mostly by Reliance. Uh, the intraday chart of Reliance should come up for you, in fact, currently at the low point of trade, uh, off its 52-week high by about 12%. And this month itself, that index is down 8%. So that's the one which is uh, taking the frontline index lower. With that, we wrap up.